it wouldn't be a more insights and strategy data center podcast if Paul didn't weigh in with a tantalizing headline. <laughs> and so let's talk about AI brain spy. Paul, take it away. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I've been following uh, some work being done with uh, uh, magnetic resonance imaging and AI, and uh, uh, there's a uh, uh, paper that came out on a, a program called uh, Mind Eye Two. Uh, that was obviously a Mind Eye One, and looking at the comparison between the uh, the number one and number two, um, it's quite a bit of difference under Mind Eye. Well, basically, what it, what it is is it takes a, a um, reconstructs a visual perceptions from brain activity looking at uh, MRI. So, you know, you look at something and uh, your brain causes an image to form, and then you can you can read that with a, with an MRI, basically. But uh, between uh, uh, Mind Eye One and Mind Eye Two, Mind Eye One was you do a a little bit of training like on a giraffe and you look at the subsequent Im images based on how much training is involved and uh, they go from the original would be a giraffe and the next one might be a, uh, a jeep and the next one might be a crane and the next one might be a, uh, a dog or something but with mind eye too uh, you get a giraffe and then basically everything in between is uh, it, the uh, the program can actually read a an image of a giraffe from from your perceptions uh, all the way through without without with only an hour of training. So they've made a lot of progress. And uh, my my point for bringing this up now is the fact that uh, you know we're we're getting into a lot of mental things and a lot of interpretation with AI and MRI. I mean that, I mean to me that's really fantastic. I mean be able to you know kind of basically read somebody's mind with. Uh, Using MRI and, and AI, uh, and then you couple. So what are? Go ahead. I was just going to say, what are the practical implications for for that? What, what are the what? Practical implications for for uh, that. Well, a lot of, I mean, it'd be a lot of things in healthcare and stuff. Um, yeah. You know, you could, you know, when you get to a certain point where it's really accurate, I mean, you could, if people have got certain distortions in certain areas of the uh, image or they're perceived in a different way, it could. Could be a psychological thing, or it could be a physiological thing within the brain. Uh, so I would say I would think maybe mainly uh, healthcare, but uh, you know, as you go further down the road, you can get into a lot of a lot of dark things that uh, you know you really wouldn't you really wouldn't want it to be used for, but it could be used for. Hey yeah. Paul, what do you see as like a a timeline, a horizon for this you know technology like this to be kind of in broad adoption and, and broad use? Yeah. yeah it's, uh, the clip we're going, I would say, uh, maybe three, four, five years. You know, wow. we should see some really practical stuff. So, That's incredible. Uh, and also on the tail of this, I, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but uh, uh, Elon's uh, Neuralink is doing some really neat things now. That they have one patient that um, had, had a, a Neuralink embedded. He's now able to play chess. He's, he's paralyzed from the, from the neck down, and he's now able to play chess with his mind. Yeah, yeah. By saying, you know, thinking, you know, move the cursor up one, over right one. And, uh, yeah. He played he played a game, I'm, I'm not familiar with it, it's called, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, um, Civilization, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he, he was so, so enthralled with, you know what he was able to do. He played this game for like eight hours online. Up and oh, wow. But you combine that with uh, the ability to to do kind of you know mind reading and interpretation of the images and stuff like that. I mean, there's some really powerful stuff coming down the line. Yeah, it's going to be a different world in a few years. Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, just miss it. Um, Musk is working on uh, the next project is Blindsight. Being able to restore the vision of people who were born blind. Yeah. My gosh. Wow. I mean, talk about just yeah, that like, chills up my mind. Yeah. 